Hello students, welcome back in your DBTS WhatsApp and Class of Computer Classics. I am your computer teacher Srinivas. Students, in the previous video, you learned about computers, some types of computers and some uses of computers. In this video, we are going to do the exercise of this chapter. Here, first question, name me, has or does the Think about it. Which computer has a touchpad? Yes, you are right. Laptop. A laptop computer has a touchpad. So, right here, laptop. Now, second, a very powerful and expensive computer. You already learned about it. Think and give the answer. Yes, you are right. It is a mainframe computer. Now, third, is a smaller than a laptop? Yes. Here are some statements. Here first, information is data presented in a meaningful way. Think. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. So, it right here. Now second, both laptops and tablets can run on typing. Yes, you are right. It is also a correct statement. So, tick right here. Now third. A mainframe is very powerful personal computer. You already learned about mainframe in previous video. So think a person, mainframe computer is very powerful but it is not a personal computer. So it is a not a correct statement. So proceed. Now four an ebook may have and videos. Yes, you are right. It is a correct statement. So, be right here. Now, the internet is a network of computers spread all over the world. Think and give the answer. Yes, you are right. It is also a correct statement. So, be right here. Now, six. A printer on a network be used by all the computers on the network. Yes, it is also a correct statement. So, tick right here. Now, choose the correct answer. First, which of these can be used by many people at the same time? Options are mainframe, laptop and desktop computer. Think and give the answer. Yes, you are right. It is a mainframe computer. So, write option number A. Now, we can use our fingers to type on a touchpad, touch screen, or mouse. Think and give the answer. Yes, you are right. Touchpad is the correct option. So, write option number A. Now, third, the desk can connect all over the world. Options are PC, mainframe and internet. Yes, you are right. It is internet. So, write option number C, internet. Now, question number 4. A network lets us share. Options are devices, files, both A and B. Think and give the answer. Yes, you are right. Option number C, both A and B is the correct option. So, right. Option number C, A, both A and B. Now, five, we use the internet to look up things, send emails, both A and B. Think and give the answer. Yes, you are right. Option number C, A and B is the correct answer. Now, six. Main frames may be used at home, in large offices, in schools. Yes, you are right. In large offices, so option number B is the correct answer. Now fill in the blanks. Use these words, programs, mainframe, printer, laptop, network and files. First, 
question is there's one more data to give us information think and give the answer yes one right program programs work on data to give us information so right here programs now second or there's is a personal computer choose the correct option yes you are right laptop is a personal computer so right here laptop now third computers store data in files yes you are right files so right here files the computers on a desk can share data with each others think and give the answer yes you are right the computers in a network they can share data with each other so right here network now few the computers on a network can share devices like a printer so right here printer now answer this the first question is name three types of personal computers answer there are name of three types of personal computers desktop laptop and tablet your second what is network how is it useful answer a book of connected computers or a network it is used to share files devices like printers and scanners now third question what is the internet give to user of internet answer is internet is a large network of computers spread all over the world it is used to share things like photos look of information now fourth question why do shopkeepers use computers to make bills shopkeepers use computers to make bills quickly and correctly now last question write two ways in which computers are useful here is answer there are two ways in which computers are helpful to us first computers do many tasks faster than us second they can store a lot lot of information and so it to us easy as friends it end of your exercise of chapter 1 in the next video you learn your second chapter hardware and software till then tata bye bye have a nice day now here is answer of your previous xw write in your notebook and remember it